Wasabi, my name is Podicat and I need to rebrand. As some of you guys may know, I went on a hefty three-year hiatus, eat your heart out, Hunter Hunter, and have just now returned, ready to give you guys some mediocre content. Despite my uh, charming attempt at a logo from when my brain was much less developed, I figured that a little change is long overdue. Now, something you might notice while watching this speed paint is that I am a perfectionist to a fault. Even watching it back, I can feel myself stroking out with every vain little attempt at a perfect line. However, if you aren't prone to seizures, you should be alright. I started by pasting a pencil sketch into Fire Alpaca and outlining on another layer. For the body and face, I outlined the left side only so that I could copy, paste, and flip it to the other side to achieve perfect symmetry. If this method offends you, I'm glad your life is so peachy that you have nothing better to worry about. You may be asking yourself, self, why is Kat drawing a cartoon portrait instead of something that actually represents what her channel is about? I'm so glad you didn't ask. My channel nowadays is going to center on art in all of its various forms. This includes music, illustration, crafting, poetry, and, unfortunately, much more. As you might imagine, it's difficult to design a logo that encompasses all art forms and doesn't look like the embodiment of a panic attack. So, I'm just using myself. Whether I'm the embodiment of a panic attack is for you to decide. I really struggled with my necklace. While attempting to adjust the line thickness, I was baffled that Fire Alpaca decided to grow my circular selection into a rounded square, depleting the last of my brain cells with each passing second. Eventually, I just had to roll up my sleeves and fix it manually. I am embarrassed to say that it took me nearly six minutes to draw my necklace because of Fire Alpaca's subpar functionality. Six minutes. That's literally the length of this entire video. Clinging on to what was left of my sanity, it was time to draw the glasses. If this drawing were more realistic, I'd have to draw the numerous smudges that are permanently etched into my lenses. It's discouraging when you attempt to clean them with your shirt for a solid minute, and they come out looking exactly the same. I swear, I'm always looking around like an eight-year-old dipped his tiny fingers into a greasy Little Caesars pizza and went full Van Gogh on my face. Not sponsored, but Little Caesars, if you would like to sponsor me, I will gladly convulse on camera for no less than $5.99 the price of one of your low-key decent cheese pizzas. Now that I've finished the glasses, I can finally color everything in. I'm going to put this design within a circle so the edges don't have to be perfect. Besides, aren't we all a little rough around the edges? That's why women use shapewear. Ah, <sighs> that takes me back to my homecoming dance in junior year. I got upset and had to leave early, so Tyler bought us some Taco Bell and we scarfed it down in the parking lot. That's true love right there. Speaking of love, I'm putting little hearts in my eyes because I am actually a child. I was always the type to draw a million of them around my crush's initials in an abused notebook. It's like I thought I was in some sort of cliché romance movie. While it's nice to think that you'll meet your true love on a lonely train or in a coffee shop, I just added mine on Facebook because I saw him in the hall and was like, yeah, he's cute. Now we're engaged, hence the ring necklace. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want a more in-depth version of our love story. It's a little unusual, but sometimes I think about how crazy it is that the impulsive decision to add him on Facebook changed the course of my entire life. It's a perfect example of the butterfly effect. Now I'm adding shade because we gotta have something to throw at the haters. I typically go in with a very dark and saturated color and then adjust the opacity of the layer so that I have more control. I use red on the skin and indigo on the whites of the eyes. While I think that indigo would be a cool name for a kid, Unfortunately, people whose names start with an I don't actually exist. Seriously, how many people do you know that have a name starting with an I? Now what about an A? It's completely out of proportion. You don't exist, Ian. You are living a lie. We all know your name is Andrew. Can't forget to add the shade from my glasses and my hair, and then pop on some blush because I am not currently deceased and I have blood flow in my face. I wanted my logo to have my channel name on it, so I wrote out Podicat in another window. I had to mesh transform my writing to keep it from looking like I went into epileptic shock. Remember how I said I was the type to draw a million hearts in my notebooks? Well, I was also the type to erase and rewrite certain letters almost obsessively so that they were perfectly beautiful and legible for my teachers. Teachers are already underappreciated, so can't you put forth a little more effort so that Miss Green can spend more time watching Game of Thrones? 
And by all means, if you have bad handwriting, do not become a doctor. I never understood why doctors always have the worst handwriting even when lives literally depend on it. You had one job. And how did they get through medical school with illegible handwriting? This is a freaking conspiracy theory. Somebody grab me my tinfoil hat and some red yarn stat. I'm adding in a few more shades and then putting the image into GIMP. Notice that all the programs I've used are free. That's because I'm cheap. I'm forming that circle I was talking about and then filling it in with a pixelated photo of my marble-esque painting. If you'd like to know how I made it, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to adjust the brightness and contrast and pop an Oilify filter on it to make it look painterly. It high-key looks like the moon, but I'm kind of digging it. Add a black border to hold everything in. And we're done. Here's the finished product. Let me know if you guys like how it turned out. And if you like what you see here, subscribe and hit the bell for more content. Hasta manzana!